What would you say is the value of that squad just now? You know, I, I, I get a value from Ross Wilson. Um, I think I stated that in the last eight years, and it's certainly gone up since then. So if, if, if you were to give me a figure, I'd say it, it could even be as high as £200 million pounds if, you take, if you take the total squad. A few moments later. The, the, the job at Rangers is very, very different from chairing a public company or, you know, right now, the, the club is in crisis, the extent of it, I don't know. Um, only those inside do know, but certainly the, the operational issues within Rangers are, are, are a challenge. Uh, a lot of the policy procedures and processes that were in place at the time that I stepped down have been hollowed out during Douglas's reign. And I thought, you know, if, if no one is going to step up and we're, we're going to have to go to some external city type of plan, which I'm absolutely certain will, will not get the club forwards. Mm. But as the, the, the leading shareholder, perhaps, um, I can step up for a period of time. Um, so I've made an announcement that I'm available to do that. I, I think something has to happen fairly quickly. The club likes leadership in, in all aspects of the club. Clearly, we don't all know what is going wrong, but a lot is going wrong. It, it's recruitment, it's on the field issues, it's off the field issues. There's poor management issues. Um, it, it is going on with the stadium. Gentlemen, it's time once again to select the new chairman of Rangers. Are you ready? giving a, a massive introduction, you know, you know, something as simple as the stadium. You, you, you don't have to be smart to know that if you've got a project like that, that, that must start like 10 minutes after the team finishes the last game in, in, in May. If you're going to be open the eye books for, for, for absolutely vital European uh, Champions League qualifiers, where eye books is a huge advantage for Rangers. We've seen that against bigger and better teams. And, and, and to have started that project with some of the steel still in China, just indicates a lack of basic project management, basic management skills. And I'm afraid that's what's happening right throughout the club at the moment. So I thought, I've got the biggest interest. Um, there is a crisis. I think it needs someone to step in quite quickly. So I'll just throw my name in the hat. It's now up to the board, I guess, to decide. <laughs> I don't see you, I don't see you. Oh, drop, come on then. Not, not. Who's here? Ora. Ora, we just got a show.